I just want to say I am very, very humbled to be here because I don't understand why I should be here. I saw the tape of last year's speakers. I felt totally out of my league. I mean, there are such huge giants in my midst. And here I am, a rice and curry guy. I suppose uh, the definition of an SME is very important. Mm -hmm. So for my understanding, an SME is basically a small, medium enterprise. And that's how I see myself, because I started very small. Even though it's a family line business, when I started this company, Big Raja, it started at the very basic stage. Mm -hmm. And you know that would qualify me to be small. Then I would try to grow it. And in the 13 years that we have been existing, we have almost become medium. So what I used to do was, I used to lift the brand. I had to live the dream, I had to live the brand. No money, and so what we used to do is I had to come up with menus. All the menus were very royal based. They were like dinner with the Raja. The Raja goes to Punjab. The Raja goes to Kerala. The royal banquet, the royal family day. So I had to do a lot of research and I came up with all this. Actually, I sat down with me and a friend of mine and we came up with all this information. So everything was royal. Then I took it one step further. I begin to live the Raja. I begin to do a Raja. Everywhere I went for a function, I dressed up like a Raja. You need to take care of the customers. I always tell my staff at Big Raja, now don't, you want, after this uh, con Congress, you can try telephoning. If it doesn't work, uh, you let me know. But I tell them, three rings. The phone should never ring more than three times. You pick it up. Encouraging people, I, I believe that, you know, if you take up anything, any business, if you take it up, if you're willing to give it time, if you're willing to make sacrifices, if you're willing to, like you said, patience, yeah, yeah, fine. But, you know, if you're willing to give it a good go and say, you know, let's do this and we will be successful, it all depends on the mindset. It's, it's like the guy, you know, or, you know, he read somewhere and he says, if you speak to this mountain, it will be removed. And so he goes to the mountain and he says, mountain be removed. Then he goes back and sleeps. He wakes up the next morning and he looks at the mountain and he says, just like I expected, the mountain is still there. So if you start a business perception with like, I am going to fail, even though people say this mountain can be moved and you can be successful or you can climb up that mountain, but if you get up in the morning and say, just as I expected, it's not going to happen for you. You make your own destiny. Surround yourself with good people.